Hi, I'm Rich here at New Life Scientific, and today we're uh, showing off our Kyogen Kaya Symphony SP. Um, it just came out of the tech shop and it uh, passes with flying colors. Um, we did a little bit of work to it, but I'm going to you know, talk about that. Um, when we did get it in and initialize it, I was getting a, an alu error. So after further getting into the drawer and pulling out the board, I did find a component on the board um, that needed replaced. A very simple uh, procedure that we did and it took care of it. It was just a really small transformer that uh, um, wasn't working, but we replaced that, put it all back in. Um, now it's working great. And I think probably just from the shipping, that component in there probably just jostled enough to um, cause the error. But, so it's working great now. Um, we've actually logged in and it's went through an initialization. It's uh, ready um, to be you know, set up and run. Right now I'm logged in uh, as an administrator, which uh, we have the password for. But you can see on the screen here, we're at the sample preparation. And this is where you'd really start your procedure and, and uh, go into it. But right now I'm not so much you know, going into that as I'm going over to the tools folder here. And I just want to do a couple things. And first of all, we're going to actually look at um, this, the maintenance. And in the maintenance area is where we can just run the machine a little bit. And then also we can um, go back and I want to look at the, the hours um, on the machine because it's actually got fairly low hours. But right here, it's just kind of uh, a screen where you can access all the components and, and run. And I'm just going to just do a quick you know, run the robotic arm left and it's just going to come over here and it does have a laser guiding um, system on it where it, it monitors as it's going through and it just says procedure complete here and push OK and again I can go back right with the robotic arm and you can see it just runs really nice and smooth and it parks over in the corner again there and again, we could go through and, and go through some of the other, the piercing devices, but all this stuff has actually been gone through when it initialized and everything passed. Um, so we just wanted to do a quick demonstration of this, but like I said, a really nice machine. Um, and we're gonna go over to the um, user management, or no, I'm sorry, instrument report, because this is gonna actually give us a lot more information about the instrument itself, specifically, you know, the usage on the machine. Um, and over here, you can just tell it, it has um, the memory, free memory, and disk space, and different, um, the serial number here. And then, of course, the software version is 4.0.2. Um, but clear on the end here, it has a counters tab. And that's where we want to come and just kind of go through real quick. The, uh, the total power on hours, as far as the machine's been powered on, is um, 2,836 hours or 38 hours, I believe there, um, which that's the power on hours. Like it's powered on right now, but it's not really doing anything. It's still, um, it's still clicking the clock. So um, if you wanna look at the runs, the, the, the start runs, um, 195 actual cycles there on the whole on this whole cycle procedure but there's a whole list of how many hours per um, different pieces that are on here but essentially we're just looking more at the total hours the machine's been turned on and the cycles here but uh, just a really clean machine just hasn't really seen a whole lot of use it seems like it's been powered on a lot but not um, really seen um, we can actually open up here, the, the front door is unlocked, and we can come in and just see how nice and clean it is. Um, you can just see there's no liquid spillage at all that I have seen in here. All we did was just wiped it out and disinfected, so um, I was very impressed with this machine and the functionality of it. and. But we are familiar with these. Like I said, we, you know, we had been into this one and um, fixed the board on it. We've dealt with these before, we're familiar with them. So we have actually another one with lower hours yet that we're gonna be demoing here um, probably later. But uh, 
but we do have a few consumables um, and of course some of the other things like the handles over there and I just want to point out also right over here um, these are the robotic blocks that have to be installed for shipping now that's something that we will be doing so if you do get this machine the blocks will be installed and will need to be removed and saved for later so um, just keep that in mind but over here you can see we do have you know different tube holders and um, uh, I think these go actually for the, the cooler back here that sit in there so we have a couple different blocks for that um, over here consumables a barcode reader and then back here we also have some kits for the um, some cartridge kits there um, an extra waste bottle over here and an extra waste chute so just a few things here um, barcodes over there but you can see through the pictures um, that this is what you're getting with this instrument so like I said a really nice machine um, you get a 90-day warranty with it and tech support so you can feel confident on this we have other machines in the house so um, like I said we're familiar with them but if you're interested give us a call here at New Life Scientific and thank you for watching